Jesters and future jesters out there, JJ Jester here with another Redstone tutorial. Um, mm -hmm. Man, I gotta turn Wi Fi off. You get tired of getting notifications. Alright, so you guys are seeing this um, and probably realizing I already did a tutorial on this. Um, I did, but like the video I uploaded earlier today, uh, direct my power director likes to mess up my videos when I upload them. Yeah, they'll they'll edit fine, but when they go to upload, they'll freeze. So I decided to go back with the editor I used to use and use KindMaster and pay the monthly fee. And it's a monthly fee, but at least their editor is reliable. But uh, anyways, guys, let's get into this. Um, <clears throat> since the video was mostly messed up, I'll go ahead and explain this again. Um, the reason I came up with this design was uh, I had originally put this on a, well, it was too wide then, but I had put it on a minecart storage system. But... Uh, some were having issues with the minecart storage system and getting it to work properly. Um, it has directional issues um, with the tracks and turning and stuff like that. And some had issues with other stuff. So I decided to just cut out the minecart storage system altogether and just make a one wide tileable bank system that you can just keep adding on. People can add on when they have the materials to make a bank account. I figured that was probably the best way to do it and instead of being too wide I changed it to make it a one wide. Now how this works is very simple. You have an automatic storage system or, or automatic storing sorting system. Oh my word. Did it twice in a row. All right, so you have the sorting system here. Um yeah, you know, right now I just have random stuff in there. Um but your keys, usually people will do uh, paper and just name it whatever you want. That's your password for getting into your bank account. Now you can rename any item you want. You just need 20 of them. At least 20. Because you're going to need 18 in here, one in the bottom, and your locked topper. And then you're going to need to have one on you. And that equals out to 20, but I would suggest, highly suggest, that you have extras. Now, basically, when you put your 19th item in, it gives a, the comparator enough power to go down here to this lower block, power this repeater, power this repeater, turn that off, unlocking your hopper at the same time, turns off the torch and the redstone, powering that torch on, which in turn falls down, powers the redstone, the rail, sending your cart forward. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. Put my slab in, and that basically freed up the cart. And I forgot I got my other phone in my pocket. Alright, so let's go ahead and start building this. This is very simple, very clean. It's, I don't think there's an easier bank system that's secure out there. So we'll go ahead and build this thing real quick. And it does not take long. Whoops. Go away! I know I'm going to get the comments. What'd the sheep do to you? <laughs> he was in my way. Alright. Now we'll put a block here. Delete this block. Go ahead and put our torch here. And put another slab there. We'll go ahead and build this up. The invisible block. 
And I shouldn't have done that. I should have just kept these going all the way and it would have been easier. Alright, and then just get rid of that one there. I don't need it. Uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and put a torch here. We don't need that block. Put our dust. Turn that turn that one off. Gonna need a block down. And let's see, we'll put that one there. Go down here. Put one here. And here. Take that one out. And let's see, we'll go ahead and put our repeater here. Don't need sugarcane anymore. That build's all done. Swap that out. Alright, put our redstone here and here. Build another block up. Put your comparator. Actually, we'll go ahead and put a block there for now. Make it easier to put the hopper there. And do the same thing over here. I don't know why I just did that. Alright. Go ahead and build up a little area here. Not there. And not there. Oh, I swear. Alright. Come down. Whoops. Missed it. Come down here. Do your hopper one more time to get it out. Alright. And we'll go ahead and drop a chest. Not that. I know. Uh, I'm kind of frustrated because... I was trying to record a video, everyone kept coming out to my little area to, that I record in. Finally I get left alone, and Minecraft's second favorite thing, rain. And it lasted for 20 minutes. So <laughs> I was waiting forever to do this video. Oh, shoot. That's not going to work. We got the torch on the bottom. Alright, torch there. While I'm at it, put your repeater here. Alright, now, you can add everything in. And just throw some random stuff at that. <laughs> just throw random stuff in there. And let's see, uh, we're basically set up for that, so I'll go ahead and drop a button right here. And let's see, we'll switch out some stuff here. Got regulars and powered. Powered there. You can do a powered here. Um, but as I did over here in my last video, you don't have to have a powered rail. Um, it's just if you want one, you don't, it's, this right here is the hair, you know, the heaviest resource to get is going to be the powered rails. So I would suggest just doing, um, the one. Now this actually, if you wanted to, I made it this long, it doesn't have to be this long. It can actually be all of this. Actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and show. This don't have to be this long. And it'll actually make the uh, powered rail at the end, of, well, both powered rails, a little more efficient. So we'll go ahead and drop this, this. Uh, actually, I need... Messed up. We have to have that one and this one. Uh, I guess it does kind of have. To, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it does. It does kind of have to be that long. Didn't think about that one before opening my mouth. Oh wait, no, it doesn't. You can shorten it a little bit. Shortens by a block. But we'll go ahead and just do that. Alright. Powered rail. And I'm going to go ahead and just put the regular rails in here. Because, I mean, that's less redstone, or less uh, 
gold that you have to have. So, go ahead and put our heart here. And go set this thing off. Alright. That is the finished product. And as you can see, works perfectly. And there's it's going to be a simple, simple thing to add to a server when you know right now we don't have hoppers and comparators but they, I'm sure they will get added eventually so when they get a they get added this will be a very good setup to have on a server and I would suggest making it one I'm going to put one on my server um, just because this is a very handy thing to have for people to store you know their valuables in but uh, anyways guys, um, if you guys, you know, if you haven't subscribed and, you're wa and you watch this video, please subscribe. I'm always looking to grow the jesters. Um, if you, you know, you like the video, please let me know and, you know, hit the like button. Um, I'd really appreciate the feedback. Um, speaking of the feedback, um, if you guys feel like commenting, please do. Good or bad comments, um, I really appreciate it. You know, just like the comment for this, it was really helpful because um, I had no idea that uh, the video was broken. So, you know, anytime you guys find stuff like that, please let me know. I'm always available. Um, I really appreciate it if you guys let me know any feedback. But uh, anyways, guys, have fun, and I will see you in my next video.